Fraser Rogers, Trevor Miller back here with you. 9.30 to go. Draw on the seminar man. One back to Stetcher. Throw it on goal. They score! Soloway on a backhand over the glove side of Redmond. And the V's in this line opens up the scoring. 10.34 into the first. Yeah, Fred Harvinson talked about how big it would be for Jed Soloway to win face-offs. He wins an offensive face-off here, gets back to Stetcher, who uh, throws it in front, maybe a little bit of a whiff shot, ends up on the on Soloway's stick, who ends up backhanding it by Angus Redmond, and the V's take a one to nothing lead, and uh, Jed Soloway doing what he has to do right now. Had a big game against Albany Valley last Saturday, and starts it off well here against Salmon Arm here on Friday night. Picked up by Murphy. Tries to go back to the way at center. He's poke checked by Fagerheim, and now his box for Mistel up the middle. His shot goes wild into the left corner. Trying to sharp angle shot there was Gillies from the left wall, but it's lifted out to center by Murphy yet again. One minute, 44 seconds gone. Now Soloway and a turnover scores! Judd Soloway second of the game, 1.48 in. It's 2 nothing as he comes down to the left wing and snaps it. Low over the blocker of Angus Redmond, and the V's up by pair. Well, it kind of looks like a chance that uh, Solway passed up, or he passed up to pass the puck on the far side to Murphy. Could have easily dumped it off to Murphy for a two-on-one chance, but Solway elects to shoot this puck and goes blocker side on Angus Redmond, and he, that's a great shot by yeah. Jed Solway. Terrific snap and right past the blocker. I don't know, maybe Angus Redmond would want that one back, but uh, by Strubin. Now to Hannah to the right goal line. Gilly sharp angle bank shot stopped by Katner, thrown in front. Or on his backhand, stopped there by Katner, gets it back, back door, Gillies off the side of the net, on the glove side, bang, 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 chances there, and it stays out. Yacobellas in the corner, trying to set things up. 17 now to go in this five on three. As Mellor's out of the box, and a one-timer by Hannah from the right circle goes wide. Rolls back on the left wall, Yacobellas to Sherbin in. Back to Yacobellas in the circle, back up top, he missed the pass, goes all the way down the ice, Sherbin in's gas. Five on three is now over, Stetcher is out. And a minute 19 to go in this Providence Spinner home penalty kill as Murphy's in the box. And now it's dumped back in on the left side. And back in the V's left corner from center ice by Mistel. Or Lu and it's in skates as Nate G's trying to get this puck out. It's still in skates as in there is Mistel causing havoc. And now Balsa gets some help and it gets out to center ice with 58 to go in Murphy's penalty. I don't know why Stetcher's not on the penalty box here. He's still standing in there even though his penalty has expired. He's arguing with the, the timeskeepers here. Meanwhile, Ferguson moving back in, takes a shot, he scores from the high slot. With 46 to go in the power play to Wade Murphy. It's now a 2-1 game and a long range wrist shot by Mitch Ferguson, his first goal against his former team with 428 left. Yeah, I think Fred Harbinson's gonna try and get an explanation as to why Troy what Stetcher did not there? exit the box. And From the high slot, Ferguson got on the glove side of Catenary. A little bit of traffic, but you can see Katner shake his head in disgust. He wanted that one back. Now a 2-1 game, a big power play goal. They almost blew it. Did Sam and Arm with all that five on three time, but Ferguson, a nice shot there from the uh, steep battle by Lovrock. And Lukenda is Lukenda is giving some shots to the back of the head of McClure, but he's not letting the puck go. 47 to go and counting. Puck still in the right corner. McClure knocked down, still on the wall. Seymour trying to tie up his man, but now it's dug loose. Hannah will go to center ice. At the red line, bobbles the puck, throws it blindly across the blue line. Nietzsche up the middle, off the skate is Seymour, and back in on left wing with 31 seconds left. Redmond can't get out of his goal. Now Seymour from the corner threw it in front. Comes back to Mann in the right circle, doesn't shoot, now throws it off the side of the goal. And he'll scamper back to his point position. 20 to go, Hanna at center on right wing. Coming in across the line is Orr, shoots right pad, say big rebound off the leg. Murphy trying to clear, Hanna comes across and keeps it in. Yacobellis in the right corner with 10 seconds left. Tipped on just wide by Gillies on the blocker side post. Now sharp angle from the left wing. Stopped by Katner, three seconds left. Yacobellis up top, Sherbin in, tipped wide. Buzzer goes, these win. Oh my, what a finish. 2-1 the final score. These win here over the Salmon Arm Silverbacks. Frantic flurry at the end. Yacobellis, Gillies, and Sherbin on the shooting gallery, but Katner. Earns his stripes, pulls out the win. The V's have won back-to-back -back games and have snapped a two-game slot against Salmon Arm. You have to give Salmon Arm so much credit at the end of that game for piling on in the last 20 seconds, absolutely putting everything on Chad Katner. And got to give credit to the V's, though. In those 40 seconds, they were in Salmon Arm's zone. John Seymour did a terrific job in tying up so many Salmon Arm defensemen. 
along with Brad McClure, and a very good win for the Vs, and another one goal game, and they bring it out here against Salmon Arm. Final score, 2-1 for the Vs. Win number 33, they've won nine of the last now 10 games.